All right, guys, today I'm going to shoot this 30 round magazine. It's made for a Glock 22, it's chambered in 40 cal. Uh, I got my magazine, my guns, and all my ammo at Sportsman's Trading Post. It's located in Wintersville, Ohio. Uh, I don't know if the phone number's on the back, I can't remember it, but you guys can look at that for a second. Now, the 30 round magazine is not a Glock magazine. Uh, I know they make them. This one says 31 plus, but I can only fit 29. Um, I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna fire, you know, five at a time, and then after I shoot about 10, I'll let the last ones fly. Uh, I wanna see if it's gonna jam my gun up or anything. Uh, we shot about roughly 100 rounds today, so the gun's, you know, a little bit of wear, a little bit of dirty in it. So we'll shoot a, like I said, fits in there nice and tight. Looks a little goofy, but we'll shoot it and see what happens. I'm gonna shoot 10 and then 20 at rapid fire, and uh, we'll see if it jams up any. So it performs pretty good, uh, semi-automatic, doesn't really have any problems. Uh, I'm gonna fire the last uh, about 20, 20 rounds at uh, as fast as I can, just to see if the gun's gonna jam up, see if the magazine's feeding right. Uh, the bullets we're shooting are Winchester, just full metal jacket, 160 grain. So we'll see if it jams. Well, our last 20 rounds performed pretty good. No jams, nothing like that. So just uh, I'm peppering the my. Uh, my girlfriend here with the camera, so she kind of made some squeaky noises. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, like I said, it performed uh, performed really good. No ammo left in the magazine. It says uh, 30 rounds right there on the back. So good magazine. I think I paid like 39 bucks for it. Uh, if you live in my area or anywhere around this, and you happen to see the video, make sure to stop in and talk to these guys. I'll take care of you on anything handgun wise. So uh, that's it.